वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू मॉड्यूल फ्लूड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट फ्लूड एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ बिफोर वी गो फर्दर लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड और डिफाइन व्हाट इज फ्लूड फ्लूड इज नथिंग इट इज एक्चुअली अ सब्सटेंस और मैटर दैट कैन कंटिन्यूसली डिफॉर्म अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ शेयर फोर्स So what is shear force which that you have already learned in first semester engineering mechanics now we have defined what is fluid and we have used the term shear force now there must be some relation between the shear force and some fluid properties like its velocities its uh, distance now fluid that as i say that deforms continuously under the action of shear force so when the fluid is flowing it experience some resistance that is if we consider a fluid element like this and if a shear force is applied here then it will deform like this let this angle be theta if this is the shear force then we already know that shear stress that is defined as force by shear area now here if we consider this as distance dy and the velocity during this process as du then we have relation which was proposed by newton which gives us the relation between shear force and the velocity gradient du by dy now that relation is actually known as newton's law of viscosity now here the new term arises that is viscosity so let's just know what is viscosity then we will know what is the newton's law of viscosity as we know when the fluid flow it experience some resistance that resistance is actually known as the viscosity suppose this is a fluid it is flowing like this with velocity du and it has this several layers if the distance here is dy then the resistance offered between these two consecutive layers is termed known as viscosity which is represented by mu now newton stated that the shear force acting during the fluid flow is directly proportional to the velocity gradient du by dy to remove this proportionality sign we apply a constant that constant is nothing but viscosity here now viscosity can be written as shear force that is tau divided by velocity gradient du by dy this equation is known as newton's law of viscosity so we knew about viscosity now let us know about a very other common term or property of fluid that is density density it is denoted by rho and it is termed as mass per unit volume now density sometimes is often is represented as a specific gravity
देर इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी एंड डेंसिटी एंड इट इज डेंसिटी इज इक्वल्स टू टेन टू पावर थ्री इन टू स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी दिस रिलेशनशिप इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स बिकॉज जनरली we find density given in the form of a specific gravity so to we have to convert that into rho now so far we have learned different properties of the fluid now let us try to learn about different types of fluid now classification of fluid the first type of fluid that we know is ideal fluid the fluid that has zero viscosity or we can say that offer no resistance during the flow that is mu is equals to zero this kind of fluid is termed as ideal fluid practically there is no fluid which is ideal there has to be some resistance during the flow but for our easy and uh, for easy calculation we prefer sometimes fluid to be ideal fluid now the second is non ideal or real fluid the fluid where viscosity is not equal to zero generally this kind of fluid is taken as air water etc or every kind of fluid because practically ideal fluid does not exist third type of fluid is newtonian the fluid that follows newton's law of viscosity is termed as newtonian fluid and the last one is non newtonian fluid the fluid which does not follow the newton's law of viscosity is termed as non newtonian fluid to study more about non newtonian fluid a model was proposed by oswald which we are about to discuss now now the model that was proposed to study the non newtonian fluid is known as oswald deville model in this model the newton's law of viscosity the formula that we learned earlier is changed and derived for to study detail about non newtonian fluid now it is written as tau is equals to m into velocity gradient du by dy to the power n plus c here m is flow behavior index while n is flow consistency index and c is a constant here we can find that this equation can also be transformed into newton's law of viscosity equation if we put the value of m as new and n as 1 and c equals to 0 hence this equation of oswald model will transform into du by dy this is nothing but the newton's law of viscosity as we knew earlier about the oswald world oswald model of the non newtonian fluid there we learned that tau is written as m into du by dy to the power n plus c now based on the value of n and c we can draw the graph between tau and velocity gradient du by dy which is drawn here now 
we all know for ideal fluid viscosity mu is equals to 0 here that is m is equals to 0 and n equal to 1 so that is mu is equals to 0 here mu is equals to 0 and n equal to 1 that is this is parallel to x axis and this is the graph of ideal fluid now for newtonian fluid if we convert this graph for newtonian fluid we will have to put m is equals to nu n is equals to 1 and c is equals to 0 that is n is equals to 1 and c is equals to 0 this shows the newtonian fluid the example of newtonian fluid is water and air now here condition with c equals to 0 now if the value of n increases from 1 then the graph changes and it will look like this and this fluid is known as pseudoplastic the example of such fluids is blood now if the value of n is less than 1 with c is equals to 0 this fluid follows this graph and this fluid is known as dilent fluid the example of such fluid is butter now if we consider as c not equals to 0 and n equals to 1 such fluids is known as bingham fluid the example of such fluids is toothpaste now if n is greater than 1 with c not equals to 0 so for n greater than 1 with c not equals to 0 such kind of fluid is rheopeptic sometimes it is also referred as rheoplastic the example of such kind of fluid is gypsum solution so we learned when n is greater than 1 it is rheopeptic or rheoplastic when n is less than 1 it is thixotropic these are the examples of newtonian and some non newtonian fluids this diagram is known as a lingham diagram For examination point of view, this diagram is very very important. Now we have come to end and to the topic of fluids classification and its properties. Thank you.